Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome back to another episode of Every Effect in After Effects Explained. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mocha AE effect. So this is kind of like its own special plugin. So this is for tracking especially planar flat surfaces and objects. So maybe a phone screen or a tablet screen that's on an angle. So to demonstrate, I've got this clip here of looking at some maps on a phone. And I'm going to drag the Mocha AE clip onto this clip. Now you'll see in the effects control panel, this will give us the option to launch the Mocha application itself. So this is a free plugin now that's just built in. I think After Effects maybe bought it or licensed it from the developer or something like that. And so you, it opens up its own little menu here with your clip and its, and its own timeline as well. Now, this is going to allow us to track surfaces, like I said, nice for planar surfaces. So if I grab the pen tool and go about tracking this screen, it's like a traditional pen tool that you might be familiar with. It's a little different in that you'll see the shape that you're making as you go. But if I select out this screen, like so, I can close it out and we have this selection that's done for one frame. I can even adjust it afterwards if I want to maybe pull one corner a little bit up, make it fit just right. Now when I want to start tracking or rendering this, I can go to track and I can track forward or backward. I'm going to have to do both since I'm not at the start of the clip, but let's track backwards for example. And you'll see it'll track each layer, making the scale go up, making the corners pin effectively. And it's pretty effective with these type of surfaces. Once it finishes, you'll see the timeline there finished. And in this case, I'm going to track forward as well. So we'll get to the end of this whole clip. So we have information for all of the frames. Now, once it's done, there are other options that you can tweak and adjust. But for the sake of keeping this an introduction, that's a basic idea. And I can close this out and just save that. And now you have some options on the mat and tracking data here. So let's create tracking data based on that first layer that we made because, you know, you could have multiple layers separating fingers and things that were overlapping the screen. But in this case, it's simple. We just have the layer that we selected for the screen and it's going to create those tracking points for us with all the right keyframes. And now at the bottom, we can choose which layer to export those keyframes to. So let's say I had another screen or text or interface that I wanted to put on top of this, I could drag it in there and then on my layer with the Mocha effect, I can apply that effect onto that screenshot or new image and apply export. So once I do that, I might need to readjust a few things about the position and scale, but the corner should be pinned properly as you can see. So let me just move the position back over a little bit, the scale where it needs to be to fit this particular screen. The basic tracking though is all there and it's tracked on this surface. Even when I get up close, it appropriately moves. And of course there's other issues at hand such as the lighting on the screen and the glossiness and reflectiveness and even the corners. I'd have to mask them out better to round them out. But with this basic workflow, you get an idea of what the Mocha tool is supposed to do and when you might want to reach for this tool. And there's definitely a lot more to explore and a lot more flexibility and functionality within this one tool. In the next video in this series where I'm covering all of the effects in After Effects, we're going to be taking a look at the channel video effects folder and what's in there. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.